الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Infectious Complications of Bites by Professor Mahmoud Hani Before beginning important note Animal are the responsibility of the owner Owners must protect themselves and others from harm Harm which may be infection, trauma or noise Physician in the hospital must notify police officer at hostel about any incident and must notify owner about this harm. It is very bad behavior to let animals harm other people. It is also a crime by law, religion and community. Again, I will deep repeat this in Arabic. قبل البدء في هذا الدرس ملحوظة هامة الحيوانات هي مسؤولية مالكيها الملاك لابد أن يحموا أنفسهم والآخرين من الضرر الضرر قد يكون عدوى خبطات أو ضوضاء الأطباء في المستشفى لابد أن يخبروا البوليس في مستشفاهم عن أي حدث يحدث and must ولا بد أن يخبروا المالك عن هذا الضرر إنه سلوك سيء جدا أن تدع ما تملك من حيوانات تؤذي الناس and هي أيضا جريمة تبعا للقانون والدين والمجتمع Introduction Skin is an essential component of non-specific immune system protecting host from pathogens in environment Breaches in this protective barrier thus represent form of immunocompromise that predispose patient to infection Bites and scratches from animals and humans allow inoculation of microorganisms past a skin protective barrier into deeper susceptible host tissues. Each year, millions of animal bite wounds are stained. Vast majority of inflicted by pet dogs and cats, which number more than 100 million annual incidents of dog and cat bites reported as 300 bites per one. 100,000 population Other bite wounds are a consequence of encounters with animals in wild or in occupational settings So bites may be occupational or environmental While many of these wounds require minimal or no therapy a significant number result in infection which may be life-threatening microbiology of bite wound infections in general reflects oropharyngeal flora of biting animal although organisms from soil skin of animal and victim and animal feces may also be involved dog bites dog bite more than six million people per year and are responsible for 80% of all animal bite wounds about 20% of which become infected each year millions seek medical attention for dog bites of those injured hundreds of thousands require treatment in an ER with more than 10,000 ER visits per day about many dozen deaths per year most dog bites are provoked and inflicted by victim's pet or by a dog known to the victim. These bites frequently occur during efforts to break up a dog fight. Children more likely than adults to sustain benign bites with highest incidence of 6 bites per 1000 population in boys 5 to 9 years. 
Victims more male than female and bites most often involve an upper extremity. In children less than four years, two thirds of all these injuries involve head or neck. It is serious. Dog bites. Infection typically manifests within 24 hours after bite as pain at site of injury with sulfuritis accompanied by purulent sometimes foul smelling discharge septic arthritis osteomyelitis may develop if canine tooth penetrates synovium or bone systemic manifestations like fever lymphangitis lymphadenopathy may also occur microbiology of dog bite wound infection is usually mixed and includes beta hemolytic streptococca pastorella species staph species including methicillin resistant staph Aureus MRSA, Echinella cordis, and Capnocytophaga canimoras. Many wounds are also include anaerobic bacteria as Actinomyces prevotella, Fusobacterium, and Porphyromonas species. Most infections due to dog bite localized, but many of organisms involved can lead to systemic infection, including bacteremia, meningitis, brain abscess, endocarditis, and chorioamnionitis. These infections can manifest in hosts with edema or compromised lymphatic drainage in involved extremity. For example, after a bite on arm in a woman who has undergone mastectomy and in patients who are immunocompromised by medication or disease, e.g. glucocorticoid use, systemic lupus erythematosus, acute leukemia or hepatic cirrhosis. In addition, dog bites and scratches may lead to systemic disease as rabies. Infection with C. Carni morsus after dog bite wounds may lead to fulminant sepsis, disseminated intravascular coagulation, and renal failure, particularly in hosts with impaired hepatic function with splenectomy or immunosuppressed. This organism is a thin gram negative rod, difficult to culture of most solid media, but grows in a variety of liquid media. It is occasionally seen within polymorphinuclear leukocytes on right stain smears of peripheral blood from septic patients. Tularemia also reported to follow dog bites. Cat bites. Although less common than dog bites, cat bites and scratches lead to infection in more than half of all cases because cats' narrow, sharp canine teeth penetrate deeply into tissue cat bites more likely than dog bites to do to lead to septic arthritis and osteomyelitis development of these diseases is more likely if punctures located over or near a joint especially in hand women sustain cat bites more frequently than do men these bites most often involve hands and arms. Both bites and scratches from cats are prone to infection from organism cats or orophanx. Pastorella maltosida, a normal component of feline oral flora, is a small gram negative cocobacilli implicated in majority of cat bite wound infections. Microflora of cat bite wound infections is usually mixed. Other microorganisms causing Infection after cat bites are similar to those causing dog bite wound infection. Some risk factors for systemic infection following dog bite wounds apply to cat bite wounds. Pastoral infections tend to advance rapidly, often in hours, leading to severe inflammation with purulent drainage. Pastorella may also spread by respiratory droplets from animals, resulting in pneumonia or bacteremia. Like dog bite wounds, cat bite wounds may lead to transmission of rabies or in development of tetanus. Infection with Bordetella hensili can lead to cat scratch disease is an 
important lead consequence of cat bites and scratches. Tularemia also reported to follow cat bites. Other animal bites. Infections attributed to bites from many animal species. Often these bites sustained as a consequence of occupational exposure. So these bites are occupational, like in farmers, lab workers, vet, or recreational exposure. So it is uh, environmental disease, hunters and the trappers, wilderness campers, owners of exotic pits. Generally, microflora of bite wounds reflect oral flora of biting animal. Most members of cat family, including feral cats, harbor pastorella maltocida. Bite wounds from aquatic animals, as alligators or piranhas, may contain uh, Romanus hydrophila. Romanus hydrophila. Venomous snake bites severe, lead to severe inflammatory responses and tissue necrosis conditions that render these injuries prone to infection. Snake's oral flora includes many species of aerobes and anaerobes, as Pseudomonas, Proteus, Staph, Epidermis, Bacteroids, Fragilis, and Clostridium. Bites from non-human primates are highly susceptible to infection with pathogens similar to those isolated from human bites. See below. Bites from all the world monkeys Maca, macaca may lead to transmission of B virus, herpes semi, cercopithecine herpes virus, because of serious infection of human CNS. Bites of seals, walruses, walruses, and polar bears may lead to chronic suppurative infection as seal finger which is probably due to one or more species of mycoplasma colonizing these animals. Small rodents, including rats, mice, and gerbils, gerbils and animals that prey on rodents, may transmit a streptobacillus moniliformis, a microphilic pleomorphic gram-negative rod or a spiralum minor, a spirochete, which lead to clinical illness known as rat bite fever, rat bite fever. Vast majority of cases in US are streptobacillary, whereas spirellum infection occurs mainly in Asia. In US, rodent risk bites is greatest among lab workers. Again, it is occupational. Inhabitants of rodent infested dwellings, especially children, Rat bite fever distinguished from acute bite wound infection by its typical manifestation after initial wound heal. Other animal bites continue. A streptobacillary disease follows incubation period 10 days. Fever, chills, myalgia, headache, and severe migratory arthralgia. Then maculopapular rash, rash which involves palms and soles, and may become confluent or pruritic complications, endocarditis, myocarditis, meningitis, pneumonia, and abscess. Haver Hill fever is S. moniliformis infection acquired from contaminated milk or drinking water and has similar stages. Streptobacillary uh, rat bite fever was frequently fatal in pre-antibiotic era. DD includes Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, Lyme Disease, Leptospirosis, and Secondary Syphilis. Diagnosed by direct observation of causative organism in tissue or blood culture. Spirillum infection. In Japan, it is called Sudoku. Causes pain and purple swelling at site of initial bite with associated lymphangitis and regional regional lymphadenopathy. After incubation period, one to four weeks, systemic illness include fever, chills, and headache. Original lesion may eventually progress to an usher. Infection diagnosed by direct visualization of spirochetes in blood or tissue or by animal onycho.
Human bites. Human bites may be self-inflicted, may be sustained by medical personnel caring for patients, or may take place during fights, domestic abuse, or sexual activity. Human bite wounds become infected more frequently, about 15%, than animal bites. These infections reflect diverse oral microflora of humans, include multiple species of aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. Common aerobic variants, Streptococci, Staph aureus, E. corridens, which is particularly common in clenched fist injury, see below. Hemophilus influenza. Anaerobic species, uh, Fusobacterium mucolitum, Prevotella porphyri, porphyromonas, and Pepto streptococcus species isolated from 50% of human bite wound infections. Many of these isolates produce beta lactamase. Oral flora of hospitalized and debilitated patients includes hepatitis B, hepatitis C, herpes simplex, syphilis, TB, actinomycosis, tetanus, and enterobacteriaceae. All this transmitted by human bites, it is possible to transmit HIV, but very rare. Human bites either occasional angels equal inflicted by actual biting or clenched fist angels sustained when fist of one individual strikes teeth of another, causing traumatic laceration of hand. For several reasons, clenched fist Injuries, which are more common than occlusional ones, lead to serious infections. Deep spaces of hand, including bones, joints, tendons, frequently inoculated with organisms during such injuries. Clenched position of fist during injury, followed by extension of hand, may further promote introduction of bacteria, as contaminated tendons retract beneath skin surface. Moreover, medical attention is often sought only after frank infection develops. Treatment of bite wound infections. Wound management. First, wound management. Wound closure is controversial in bite injuries. Many authorities prefer not to attempt it primary closure of wounds that, or, that are or may become infected, preferring to irrigate these wounds copiously Debride, devitalize tissue, remove foreign bodies and approximate wound edges. Delayed primary closure may be undertaken after risk infection is over. Small uninfected wounds may be allowed to close by secondary intention. Puncture wounds due to cat bites left unsutured because of high rate at which they become infected. Facial wounds are sutured after thorough cleaning and irrigation due to importance of good cosmetic result in this area and due to anatomic factors as excellent blood supply and absence of dependent edema lessen risk of infection. Antibiotic therapy of these infections. Established infection Antibiotics given in all established bite wound infections and chosen in light of most likely potential pathogens as indicated by biting species and by gram stain and culture lasers in the coming table. For dog and cat bites, antibiotics should be effective against staph areas, pastorella species, C. cani morsus, stripped and oral anaerobes. For human bites, Agents with activity against staph aureus and H. influenzae and beta lactamase positive oral anaerobes used. Combination of an extended spectrum penicillin with alpha beta lactamase inhibitor like amoxicillin clavulinic acid, tecarcillin clavulinic acid, ampicillin salbactam, anything of this offer most reliable coverage for these pathogens. Second generation kephalosporins also offer substantial coverage.
choice of antibiotics for penicillin allergic patients difficult and is based on vitro sensitivity combination of clindamycin with trimethoprim sulfamethaxazole or fluoroquinolone is reasonable in vitro data says adithromycin also is good choice MRSA becomes more common in community and evidence in its transmission between humans and their animal contacts increased empirical use of agents active against MRSA should be considered antibiotics given for about two weeks but response to therapy must be carefully monitored if failure occur prompt diagnostic alternative and surgical evaluation for possible drainage or debridement complications as osteomyelitis septic arthritis uh, mandate a longer duration of therapy management of C. canimorsus species requires two week course of IV penicillin G sub supportive measures alternative treatment cephalosporins and fluoroquinolones Infection with P P Pasteurella maltosida, e.g. pneumonia, sepsis, or meningitis, treated with IV penicillin G. Alternative second or third generation cephalosporins. Bites by venomous, venomous skins, snakes, may not require antibiotic treatment because it is often difficult to distinguish signs of infection from tissue damage caused by uh, venomation, many authorities continue to recommend treatment directed against snakes oral floor, giving broadly active ones as safe triaxone, ampicillin, salbactam. Seal finger appears to respond to doxycycline. This table and the coming ones are summary of what we said about antibiotic treatment. We need to know that antibiotic is according to biting species, commonly isolated pathogens, preferred antibiotic, alternative in penicillin allergic patient, and what about prophylaxis, which is very important, and other consideration at the last two columns. This is the summary of what we said about dog, cat, this one about human occlusion and the human clenched fist trauma and please print and use. The last one for this summary also for monkey, snake and rodent. Please print and use and uh, you must recognize that uh, antibiotic for prophylaxis and in some cases rabies and tetanus is considered. The some tip or prophylactic therapy use of antibiotics for patients with early within eight hours after right injury is controversial. Although symptomatic infection frequently will not yet have manifested at this point many early ones will harbor pathogens and many will become infected studies of antibiotic prophylaxis for wound infections limited a meta-analysis in patients with dog bites showed decrease in infection rate by 50 percent with prophylaxis however many clinicians treat bite with empirical antibiotics on species of biting animal location severity extent of bite wound and existence of comorbid conditions in home. All human and monkey bite wounds are treated presumptively due to high rate of infection. Cat bite wounds, especially those uh, near hand, should be treated. Severe injury must be treated, especially if host immunocompromised. When prophylactic antibiotics give it usually at least for five days. Rabies and tetanus prophylaxis look details in previous lectures.
I thank you for your good listening.